Hello, I'm Rob Gibson. I'm the convener of the Rural Affairs Climate Change and Environment Committee and this is our session four legacy report. So there's three purposes to the report. Firstly, we will be looking back at the committee's work in this session and reflecting on its effectiveness and successes. Secondly, we'd examine lessons learned and uh, identify challenges for the future in terms of practical and procedural matters. And finally, it sets out um, some of the issues and priorities that lie ahead and that are likely to face the successor committees in dealing with rural affairs, climate change and environment in the next session of Parliament. From the outset in 2011, we were determined that uh, the RACI committee would be as accessible and transparent as possible and would engage with as many people from across Scotland as possible. And I think we realised these ambitions. Uh, we held public meetings and events from Orkney to the Borders and from Isla to Angus. We published papers, letters and reports on our website and we engaged with people on a daily basis on social media. We've consistently been one of the busiest committees in the Parliament, meeting every week, sometimes twice a week, and have tried to do justice to all parts of our very wide remit. We've taken evidence and published reports on a huge range of subjects. The start of the session began in 2011, quickly demonstrating the steep learning curve that we would be on when we found ourselves scrutinising aquaculture and fisheries legislation so dressed in waterproofs at Fort William and speeding across the water to visit a fish farm was a great introduction for the members of the committee. And that first piece of legislation set the tone for the session as uh, whether we were considering climate change, farming, fishing, forestry, biodiversity, waste, uh, species management, animal welfare, land reform, crofting. We cast our net for opinions and information as widely as possible. On a personal note, after 13 years as an MSP, first representing the people of the Highlands and Islands region and latterly the constituency of Caithness, Sutherland and Ross, I'm standing down at the forthcoming Scottish Parliament election. It's been a pleasure and a privilege to convene the Rural Affairs, Climate Change and Environment Committee in this session. It's a personal highlight for me to end the session by helping to deliver further and substantial land reform which was, will hopefully make Scotland a fairer and more transparent country and in which all the people can feel connected to and part of our land. I've been ably supported by my two deputy conveners, firstly Annabel Ewing MSP and followed by Graham Day MSP and the support of members of the SNP Labour, Conservative and Liberal Democrat parties have all played a really constructive part in helping to make the RACI committee one of the hardest working, effective and consensual committees in the Parliament. I also have to thank hugely the officials who've supported us in our work, in particular the clerks and SPICE researchers. It will now be for another committee or committees in the next session of Parliament to take these important issues forward, but with the same overall ambitions in mind to ensure that the issues that matter to people in all of Scotland's rural community are brought to the fore and that the climate, land and environmental policies and legislation which are required to sustain Scotland and maximise its rich landscape and diverse community are properly scrutinised and as a result are robust and fit for purpose. I wish our successors well.